Hi, this is June from Planet June, and today I'm going to show you how to use a stitch marker when you're making amigurumi. There are two main reasons for using a stitch marker as you crochet. Firstly, to mark the start of a round so you don't lose your place. And secondly, to mark a specific point in a pattern, for example, the top of a head or the position of legs. I'll demonstrate both of these for you today. It's important to mark the first stitch of each round when you're crocheting in a continuous spiral because there's no seam to give you a visual cue to the position of the end of the round, so it can be hard to tell if you've made a mistake. The marker provides that cue. Each time you begin a new round, make the first stitch, then pause. Take your marker and slip it through both loops at the top of the stitch you've just completed. Now complete the instructions for the rest of the round. When you reach the end of the round, you'll know you've followed the pattern correctly if you've crocheted into every stitch before the marked stitch. The marked stitch will be the first stitch of the next round. To begin the next round, remove the marker, then make the first stitch of the round. Replace the marker through both loops at the top of the stitch you've just completed, then continue crocheting. To speed up the process, there's no need to lock your start of round marker closed for each round. Just make sure you lock it if you're going to be putting your crochet down so it doesn't fall out before your next crochet session. If you always get back around to the stitch before the marked stitch at the end of each round, you'll know you're on track with your pattern. But if you finish the round and there are still stitches remaining before you reach the marker, or you reach the marker but you still have more stitches before you finish the round, you'll know you've made a mistake. You can easily undo the entire last round by pulling out all your stitches until the marker drops out of your work. Now, Finish unravelling that stitch and you'll be back at the end of the previous round, ready to try again. Reread your pattern carefully and see if you can spot where you went wrong, and count your stitches while you're crocheting. Sometimes, you'll need to mark a specific point in your pattern to aid in orientation and assembly. To do this, Crochet the stitch to be marked, then slip another marker through both loops of the stitch you've just completed. Unlike the start of round marker, you won't be removing this one for a while, so make sure you lock it closed. When you reach the marked stitch in the next round, you'll ignore the marker and work into the stitch anyway. I pull the marker forwards, crochet into the stitch, then flip the marker back out of the way so I can crochet into the next stitch. Just make sure the marker is on the outside of the work before you continue crocheting. When you need to refer to the marked stitch again, it'll be directly below the bottom of your marker. <laughs> 